Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Devin Bartolotta. Sharice is off tonight. Two parents remain behind bars this evening, suspected of starving their infant to death and abusing an older child. The St. John Sheriff says the pair will face second degree murder charges in this unimaginable crime. Eleanor Chabon has tonight's top story. That child was malnourished beyond what I've seen in my 34 years. It's a horrific case at this home in reserve. Sheriff Mike Treg says he's struggling with. For a harmless, defenseless human being to just be left like that, to starve to death. According to Sheriff Treg, deputies were called to 24-year-old Angel Taylor and 31-year-old Chevy LaFontaine's home earlier this week. He says Taylor called 911 saying her four-month-old daughter was having a medical condition. According to the sheriff, this is the camper trailer that the family of four had been living in. The sheriff said when deputies arrived, they found the child. He says it was clear to them that the infant had been dead for a period of time because rigor mortis had already set in. From what I saw, uh, that child hadn't eaten anything in a long time. Sheriff Treg says the family were living in deplorable conditions and that their 13 month old son, who survived, showed signs of neglect and abuse. Neither the biological mother or father took responsibility for their actions. They blamed it on everybody else. They blamed it on their drug use. They blamed it on the people that gave them drugs. Absolutely no remorse at all. Autopsy results found the baby girl died from starvation, malnutrition, dehydration, severe neglect and child abuse. A four month old child, a little baby like that, I mean that's just, I mean wild animals take better care of their cubs. The shock of this tragedy. It makes me say I can't quit thinking about it. Felt most by those first on scene. The sheriff is thankful he was able to save the 13-month-old, but wishes he could have saved the infant's life. When you sit down and eat your dinner in the night, you think about what you have in front of you, and you got a baby that can't have anything at all. Eleanor Tabone, Eyewitness News. Taylor and LaFontaine were booked for second-degree murder, but also face a string of other charges. Bond was set at a full $600,000. The 13-month-old is now in state custody.